Hi. Hey, thank you. Welcome to my channel, Facebook Digital T. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about online meetings. Uh, I don't want to talk about the online meetings in general, but I'm going to go specifically about uh, the Zoom app. How you can install the Zoom app, how you can set up your account, and how you can start your meeting. As you know, today is very important to do online meeting. As you know, uh, people like being a quarantine or working remotely or for because of the social distance, we cannot get together as we normally do before. So now we all meet online. So I have been receiving a lot of questions for friends, for famous, for colleagues from work uh, about online meetings. And as you know, people are needing to know how to do online meeting. Uh, they are struggling with that. So, so today I'm going to show you how I do things, how I set up, how, how I install the Zoom, how I set up my meetings, and it could be helpful for you. Okay? Without too much talk, let's just drive into it. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start from scratch. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to install the Zoom app. I'm using this machine. I'm using the MacBook Pro machine, but the process that I'm doing the Mac, you can do the same on a Windows machine. It it's just gonna be the pretty much the same. Okay, so the first thing, what you're gonna do? So you're gonna open the browser. You can open any browser you want. For me personally, I'm gonna use the Chrome. And then when you open the Chrome, just type zoom. Zoom.com.us, okay? This is the zoom. So I don't have accounts. I'm gonna start from scratch. The first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna try to install the zoom app, okay? Because I don't have it, but let's sign up first. I'm gonna click sign up. Let's just use N Raymond data just to move on. I'm gonna make sure I choose enough. Uh, so the email that I'm gonna use is jalvis at uh, cvspacing.com. Sign up. Basically, what's gonna happen? Zoom is gonna send one email. This is the basic standard process. They want to make sure that email that I'm using is a valid email. That's why they send you a link. You're going to open your email. You're going to have the link there. And on the link, you're going to click and then follow up the instruction. But it's the simple. Let's go there. Let's, let's go see the email. Okay, come here to my email. You guys are going to have to see my email right now, but let's just go to the CV spacing. I have a lot of different emails for different uh, proposals. So, okay, let's put the password. So, my password is very simple. It's the uh, 12345. <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> not at all. That's not my password. So, okay, so here on the top, you have the email that I received from Zoom. So, it's going to ask me to activate my account, okay? And then just activate account, okay? I'm not signed up on the behalf of the school. Just check now. And then you continue. Is is ask me to invite friend, but to the Zoom, but I don't want to do that right now. I just want to click continue. Oh, basically here is ask me for my personal information. Just Miano Alves. Just Miano Alves, and then I'm gonna choose the password one two three five. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm very crazy about the password. Just one thing, you have, to, you, have, you have the instruction how the password should look like. It has to be a character, you have to have one letter, one, uh, at least one letter, at least number, you have to have uppercase, and then uh, I think that's pretty much it. Sometimes I put a special character on the my password as well to make that very difficult to guess. Okay, just click. I want to save it. So basically he is asking me to invite all the people, but I don't want to do that. That's the step that I thought I was doing before. So I'm going to just skip this step. I don't want to do that. Okay, so I have a count right now. So it's like I'm ready to start a meeting. 
So you just can click it here and start the meeting. But I don't want to do that from here. I want to install the, the Zoom. But when you click here, it's going to download the Zoom app for you. You click start the meeting. It's going to automatically download the Zoom app for you. Actually, here is trying to launch the Zoom app, but since I don't have that installed, I need to install it. You can just click here, download and run. Okay, I'm going to just install here, click on it, continue, install, put in my admin password. Okay, done. So as you see, the Zoom app, it's open. Okay. Okay, so one thing here, I have to see if I can log out here because I had the Zoom app before and this one that is open, it's open automatically with some data that I have restoring the cache. So that's why you see, you see I have the old app there. So I have to, I have to change that. Let's just log out. I want to use the other account. Let's me log out and I'm going to use the one. Okay, after you install, you should pop up with a screen like this. It will ask you to log in. For me, it just get authenticated automatically because in this computer, I had the, the Zoom app before. So that's why. So let's just J Alves, see if it's spacing. So the Zoom app that I have before, I have to uninstall it so I can show you the step how you install the Zoom. But when you install sometimes the folders kind of stay in the computer. When Zoom installed the app, it kind of grabbed those data that was there. So it authenticated me automatically. Okay, but now that you use the same account that you create, okay? You use the same account that you create. For me, it was jalvcvspacing.com with a password. You log in into your Zoom app, okay? So how you start a meeting? To start a meeting, you have a, this, this new meeting. That's how you click on it, you're gonna start the meeting right away. But like I say, it just pop up here and then you're gonna start meeting right away. But that's not what you do normally. Normally, let's finish this meeting. Normally what you do, you schedule meeting that's going to happen. And then this is what you do here on the schedule. You click here on the schedule and then let's say for me as an example, I'm going to, so I have every day, every Wednesday at 7 o'clock in the morning, 7.30 in the morning, I have uh, the meeting with my Rotary Club and we use the Zoom app for it, okay? So I'm going to schedule the meeting. So I'm going to say Rotary Club. Clubs meeting because you can have as many meeting you want. That's why uh, you schedule you use the name. So for me here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say this meeting is gonna happen on a Wednesday, twenty, and it's gonna be seven thirty. I am in the morning. Um, what I'm gonna say is, uh, is a recurring meeting. It's what I mean. It's like every Wednesday that meeting is going to happen. But if it's not a recording meeting, you can say when the meeting is going to end. Okay? So it's, uh, for me, it's one hour meeting. Okay? But here, it's where I'm going to say is recording meeting uh, because the meeting happens every Wednesday. I'm going to say it's recording meeting. Okay? Uh, another thing, you have a personal ID. You can use your personal ID, which one is the fix. This is the password. Um, in terms of the video, I can put it on. The reason that I put a one, it's like you start automatically, your video will, will be uh, active. And I will do the same thing for the person, participants, so they don't have to, to worry how to turn a video on or not, okay? So I'm going to use a Google the calendar. So when you schedule a meeting, you, I'm going to use a cal calendar so I can invite all the people. Okay, advanced, there's some advanced, advanced option. One, I'm going to enable waiting room. So I don't want to enable a waiting room. I want them to be able to start a meeting without me there. So I'm going to just 
no enable the 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 the, the room so uh, basically uh, I can enable them to join before me as a host uh, let's actually let's enable the 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 waiting room so they can start the meeting and the waiting for me but they can join before the last okay so okay so this is pretty much so i'm going to use the google calendar so let's schedule you click schedule it will create the meeting and then because i'm using the google calendar it took me to this google page okay and here i'm going to use my account which is j alves cv spacing let's see if the password is there okay the password is there i'm going to allow that to add the meeting to the my zoom my google calendar and then if you see on the google calendar 7 a.m oh so it has to be may 20. if you see the meeting is here and one thing is very helpful from the google calendar you can open the meeting and then you click edit and here you have an option let's see oh no i have to go for this account no come on i have i choose wrong cv spacing okay cv spacing and then we, here's the meeting rory club okay you click on it and the good thing here you can start adding your participant to the meeting okay this is very helpful use the choose the google calendar you can choose the google but you can choose anything where it can be google it can be outlook where you have all your contact choose that it's going to make your life easy when you want to invite them to the meeting okay so this is this is the the guest that i want to invite to the meeting i can you can type if it's not in calendar you can type j of dict okay good um yes i think uh, yeah and then i think they are good to go uh, oh or here also you can make like is the weekly wednesday okay or your meeting happy every wednesday okay let's see what else you can do you can change the time zone but for me it's good as the certain time zone so i don't have to change that and you can you can allow them the guests to invite all the people to the meeting that's invite order the guest can invite the people to the meeting as well uh, this is all the meeting information here this is the link they're gonna use to join the meeting okay okay that's uh, that's pretty much how you set up meeting use the zoom app okay then let's just click save and then let's send the invite okay so this is this is just specific for me for for my uh, Google account is an organization's account when you invite people that it's not part of your organization it will show that warning so let's say invite them okay good and then you as a guest so what are you gonna do so when you open your email here on your email you're gonna receive the invite okay when you receive the invite let's see so 20 okay so here you have the invite you have this invite rory club meeting okay uh but also through the email you receive the invite as well on your email it's okay you see this is your invite on the email you can just uh you can do rsvp say yes i'm gonna attend the meeting that's awesome you click on it and then when you're gonna attend the meeting all you have to do let's make sure I close I sign up the the zoom app because I'm gonna log in with a different account okay so all you have to do here is click on this link to join you click here to join okay and then when you click to join I'm gonna say allow and then I'm gonna test the the, comp the computer let's make sure waiting for the was to start okay here's the nothing it's like you're gonna be in a waiting for the host to start the meeting let me uh one thing oh this is very hard to demo because in same computer to be a uh, to to try to be uh a host and then be a client it's very uh, it's, it's very hard to do so but basically what i was trying to show you is some troubleshoot step 
this is very important let me just go there to see if I can show you that oh okay good okay let's say let's say that I'm gonna buy that I'm gonna start the meeting as a host so you just select the meeting that you wanna that you wanna have and then you start the meeting okay and then one thing when you start the meeting uh, test the speaker you can test it this is very important for you to test the speaker okay you see the speaker is working very one yeah I hear and then now it gonna test the speaker that you using because you now see they gonna test yes the speaker okay I, so that's confused it's very important you do this test make sure before you jump in the meeting you can hear and then you can speak and they can listen to you do this test first but anyway if you start the meeting and you couldn't do this test one thing you can do if you see here there's a let me just show you because sometimes that test that I did it show up only for the host but you as a guest, you can do that as well. For example, here's the microphone. You, you can test, you can click here to test your microphone to make sure they are listening to you. But another thing you can do on audio series, you can check, you can check which microphone are you using. For me right now in this computer, I don't have an external microphone. It just show me the one that I'm using, like the speaker. So I'm using the one that is built with the computer okay and then here's the actually this is the mic you can click here to test but most important you can see that it's show the, the 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 green bar is increased that's make sure your computer is listening to you speak so probably they will listen to you and the speaker seems working fine but the only way you can just test like click here you heard that voice so you're gonna hear what's going on in the meeting and then if you want to test the mic, you just click test the mic. It's a recording and then just test stop it. It's a recording. Okay, good. So that's the troubleshoot step that I do before jumping the meeting. Make sure my speaker is working so I can hear them. And also I test my microphone to make sure if I speak, they will be able to listen to me. Okay, what is the next step? Next step, just in case you have any question. So you have my contact information on the on the youtube here you can ask me a question but you can ask me you can follow me on the facebook you ask me question there i will be answering your question or here if you leave a comment with a question i will get back to you and answer your question okay i hope this is going to be helpful for you and then you will be able to to create your meeting set up and keep in touch and engage with your community with your friends whatever you need it but the most important you will be able to do the online meeting okay thank you so much for having me here and i will see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe thank you bye bye